In this video, I want to give a quick overview to using YouTube for marketing purposes. First though, a bit of background about the site itself. YouTube is a video sharing site and most of the content is uploaded by individuals, but companies and corporations can upload footage too. And it's the second largest search engine on the net. YouTube was acquired by Google in 2006 and the two sites work very closely together. For example, you can sign in to YouTube using your Gmail account. Now, YouTube is good for both business to business and business to consumer communication. And YouTube offers many advantages to marketers. First of all, it's highly engaging. It's passive and it's hard to look away from. And the brain has evolved to pay attention to moving images and sounds. You know, think about it for a moment. If you're in a room talking to someone and the TV's on, no matter how hard you try otherwise, you're going to find yourself, you know, just sort of looking across just to check the TV, just to see what's on. It's irresistible. And that's one of the big advantages that YouTube has and videos on YouTube have over static pages because they are highly, highly engaging. And a YouTube video lets you put your message across in a highly persuasive and engaging manner. You can speak directly to your audience. You can lend personality to your organization. You can have music as part of your YouTube video, which can help you sell emotional points. You know, if you think about it, when you go to the movies, if you listen to the background music, it really does emphasize some of the points of being made, you know, tension or sadness or happiness or upbeat. And you can use that in your YouTube videos to help get people in the right sort of frame of mind uh, to buy your product or service. And of course, it lends more power to everything that you say. And YouTube videos can be viewed on computer desktops. You can watch it on your desktop or your laptop. You can watch it on smartphones and you can also watch YouTube videos on tablets. Now, there are several types of videos that you can use for marketing. There are straight out advertisements. There are viral videos. There are vlogs or video blogs. There are tutorials, interviews, events and presentations. You know, you can have just a very simple video, just uh, a PowerPoint presentation with a voiceover. A word about viral videos, though. Um, Directly salesy type videos tend not to go viral very often. The best type of viral video is something that catches the public's imagination. I'm sure you've seen all sorts of videos or mentions of videos like you know skateboarding cats and that sort of thing. But the way to capitalize on a viral video or on a quirky video that you hope will go viral is not to make it too salesy, but just to say, have a link to your website at the end or a mention of your website URL at the end uh, to encourage people to go to your site. That's the way to uh, make a viral video work for you as a marketing tool. Now, of course, when you're making YouTube videos, you wanna make sure that your videos are good quality because if you've got a crummy video, people are going to think that you make a crummy product or you provide a crummy service. So quality is king when it comes to uh, making a good YouTube video. Uh, high definition 1080 is the best. That's the one that they recommend. Some people think you should shoot 4K. Personally, I don't think that it's worthwhile going that far at the moment. Um, although uh, as the internet evolves quite quickly, that might be something to bear in mind for the future. Above all else, though, your YouTube videos should be well shot and edited. Like I was saying earlier, make sure that they are good quality. 
And you should consider hiring a production company or a videographer if this sort of thing isn't your forte. Because if your video looks amateurish, like I was saying, uh, it's going to reflect badly upon you uh, because people do judge the quality of the product or service they're going to get from you by the quality of the video that they see on YouTube. And the more often your video gets watched, the higher it will rise in the rankings on YouTube. And top ranked videos also show up in the Google search results for their particular keyword. Um, this is another way that Google and YouTube work closely together. If you've got a really popular video on YouTube, then it's going to show up in the Google search results for the particular keyword as well. So you do actually kill two birds with one stone in that way. Getting started with YouTube is very easy. As I was saying earlier, you can sign in with your Google ID. You can then come here to where it says my channel. Let's just click on that. And you can customize it in a similar way that you can with your Facebook page and your Twitter home page and that sort of thing. And then you can start uploading videos. You can have featured channels and so on. And it's all fairly straightforward. Once you've got a video up on YouTube, you can have it for everybody to see. It can be um, publicly displayed. Or what you can do is you can restrict it so that only people that you send the link to can watch it or only people who are signed into YouTube. So it does give you a lot of flexibility, both for marketing to a wider audience and also for restricting it to a narrow audience as well.